Uh, hi, Warriors. Um, thanks for coming back. Uh, we have um, some good numbers again this week, so thank you for doing what you're doing. Um, the, the, the number of students who have um, positive cases of COVID has gone down again. So the things you're doing are, for the most part, working really well. We want to keep student voices in our decision making. So be on the lookout for surveys and things that will be coming. And um, we want to hear your voices. I know the Student Senate wants to hear your voices. Um, your thoughts about what we need and how things are going are really important to us. Um, it does look like we're not going to be in the clear uh, by mid-December. Uh, we're not going to be in the clear on COVID. So unfortunately, just to be clear, commencement uh, for those of you graduating in December will again have to be a virtual commencement. We just don't have another way to do it safely um, in large numbers. So um, I know that's disappointing for many of you, but we'll do our best to try to make it be a great experience um, just as we tried to do last May. Um, thank you, students, for responding to the survey we put out on Thanksgiving. In fact, 1,200 of you responded, which is a really good response rate. And your opinions about life after Thanksgiving has really been factored in by the deans and by the president's cabinet and others as we've discussed this. Uh, we have made a decision, and the decision is that uh, most classes after Thanksgiving will pivot to an online posture, but there will be a few classes that, because of the needs of the class, uh, have to be in person that will remain in person. And so these are things like labs and clinical experiences, practicum, where uh, the student doesn't get the learning experience they need without some kind of in-person experience continuing. And for those students, we are asking you to come back for th from Thanksgiving and in, in, uh, be a part of those in-person experiences. But for most of you, uh, things will be online after Thanksgiving. Um, you might want to know that the police have shifted their approach to parties in the community. Um, in the past, they were taking really an educational approach, but there have been some sites of parties um, that haven't really adjusted or adapted as we would hope to the um, educational approach. So police are ticketing now, and that means that if you're party isn't following um, state and local guidance, you could get a ticket. And um, you might ask, well, what can you do then? If you keep your party to 10 people and under, and if you wear masks, you're just not going to have any issues unless something else is going on. Um, but parties that get bigger than that, you know, parties that have 40, 50, 60 plus people in them um, will be subject to ticketing. And so just be aware of that. You know, if you walk into a situation and it just looks unsafe, feels unsafe, leave. Go find something else to do. And you'll know, you know, if you if you were walking into a, an establishment or into a party and it just seems too crowded and people aren't wearing masks, your best bet is to, to go find something else to do. Um, thanks, Warriors, for keeping vigilant, keeping it up. And um, we'll be back next week with another update.